Welcome to Just Have a Drink. It's that time of year again, as you can tell by the fire hazard wrapped around me and my ugly bachelor looking Christmas tree. Feel free to roast it in the comments. There's something special about this time of year, the lights, decorations, and that one song that plays so often it'll make you want to punch a kid. Alexa, play All I Want For Christmas Is You. But my favorite part is eggnog. Well, not exactly. As a guy that drinks a lot, surprisingly, I like the virgin stuff in the carton from the store. But I decided it's time to change that and go on a journey to make the best eggnog possible. This story begins in the late 90s when I was a small child on Christmas Day at my grandparents' house. There was two punch bowls of eggnog. One was for the kids and the other was for the adults. I remember my grandmother warning us kids to stay away from the adult eggnog, especially because my Uncle Joe was there and he liked to spike punches like that one kid at prom. At some point in time at this party, I accidentally got a cup of my Uncle Joe's spiked eggnog. Instant death. It was so ridiculously strong, it burned the three hairs I grew on my adolescent lip off. And it was at this moment, eggnog was ruined for me forever. And we checked my Uncle Joe into rehab the next day. Fast forward to today to discover the best eggnog. What is eggnog? Wikipedia says historically, it's also known as a milk punch or an egg milk punch when alcoholic beverages are added. It is rich, chilled, sweetened, dairy-based beverage. It is traditionally made with milk, cream, sugar, Let's egg skip this for today. Egg. I began my journey for the best eggnog where it started for me, my Uncle Joe in rehab. Then I went to the store and bought some store-bought eggnog. I know this goes against everything I stand for in cocktails, but I wanted to revisit the memories of my childhood when things were simpler. Before having a job, paying bills, and having to get restraining orders against crazy exes that break into your house and steal everything, including the floors. So I got this stuff, and even though I think it's one of the higher quality store-bought eggnogs, the marketing trips me out. First of all, limited edition? Really? Eggnog isn't a seasonal drink? Naturally flavored. That usually means lab-made flavoring, but this product seems like maybe it's a rare exception. Then, whiskey flavored in a non-alcoholic eggnog. Looking through the ingredients, I couldn't find the evidence of that. But I mean, wouldn't you just add your own whiskey for whiskey flavoring? And why do they have a picture of a star niece in the cup? I mean, because it's pretty? Still no evidence on the back. People are really upset about finding out that established titles didn't actually make them lairds and lords, but it's not much different than what most big corporations have been doing. But this store-bought stuff wasn't terrible. A little sweet and thick, but JHD loves thick. Uh, the eggnog is what I mean. But spoiler alert, homemade is so much better. So I was going to make my own. Before I get into the best eggnog, some of us, me for sure, like to do things the lazy way. So here's a quick bartender hack to making lazy eggnog. The eggnog belongs to a family of cocktails called Flips. Similarly, White Russians, Grasshoppers, Irish Coffees, and Classic Pina Coladas. To make eggnog the convenient bartender way, we'll start off by adding a whole egg to our tin. One ounce of heavy cream, one ounce of simple syrup. I like to use a two to one cane syrup or even a vanilla syrup, but I usually just add a drop or two of vanilla extract into my tin. Then three quarters of an ounce of a fine cognac and three quarters of an ounce of an aged rum. But really feel free to use whatever liquor you prefer. Then I'll slap the tins together, do a dry shake, which is shaking without ice for about 20 seconds. Then pop that bad boy open, add ice and shake for about another 10 seconds. Now on a chill rocks glass with or without ice, whatever you prefer, double strain and finish it off with some fresh ground nutmeg and fresh ground cinnamon. And cheers, the convenient bartender way. Now the conclusion to my search for the best eggnog. In all honesty, I never made eggnog the traditional way, so I took my knowledge as a bartender and combined it with hours of research from some of the best cooks, bartenders, and food scientists. And after enough cracked eggs to piss off the vegan teacher, I had my recipe. First, put three cups of milk into a pot on low to medium heat. We just want it to get it warm, we don't want it to boil. While that's happening, separate six egg yolks. By the way, I'm not a chef. Don't toss the egg whites, we'll save them for later. Take your egg yolks and start whipping together with an egg beater or a whisk. After a few seconds of whisking, you want to slowly add a cup of sugar bit by bit till it's all gone. I use cane sugar. I like the little extra molasses flavor it adds. When you're done, it should look nice and creamy. Your milk should be hot and steamy by now, so we're going to add a little bit of our milk to our egg mixture to temper the eggs. We want to slowly bring up the temperature of the eggs to the milk, so we slowly add bit by bit till they're close to the same temperature. Once you've combined your egg yolk mixture and milk, add two teaspoons of vanilla extract and put the mixture on a low heat for about 10 to 15 minutes, stirring constantly so it thickens. Don't let it boil. The sweet spot is 175 degrees Fahrenheit. 
the longer you cook it, the thicker it'll be. Once you're done, it's time to season this thing. Add one teaspoon of cinnamon, one and a half teaspoons of nutmeg, a quarter of a teaspoon of allspice, and one tablespoon of ginger powder. Next, I add one and a half cups of heavy cream, and for my alcohol, I add two ounces of 100 proof bourbon and two ounces of sherry, but feel free to use whatever liquor you prefer. Mix it all up well, and now it's ready to be stored and chilled to be enjoyed once it's cool. You can also take the egg whites with them and then add them to the top of your eggnog or fold them into your eggnog. Or add whipped cream, which gives me an idea. Bonus tip, make the best whipped cream. This is a whipper used to make the best whipped cream you've ever had. I forgot I could use that since I usually only use it for cocktail experiments. In my whipper, I add one cup of heavy cream, one ounce of a rich cane syrup, and half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Make sure the lid's on tight, hit it with the nitrogen cartridge, swirl it around a bit, and then let it sit for about a minute. Now, I grab my eggnog, top it with this fluffy homemade whipped cream, and grate some fresh nutmeg on top, and enjoy. Is it better than the store-bought stuff? Hell yeah. Was it decently easy to make? Hell yeah. Did my Uncle Joe finally get out of rehab? Hell yeah. Is it the best eggnog ever? Uh, probably not, but dang, it is good. I finished it all off before I finished writing this script. And I have another year to perfect this recipe. So for now, I'll find something else and just have a drink. Cheers.